welcome to DIY with Nancy. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for bacalhau kunatish, which is codfish in a cream sauce. A lot of you have asked me if I'm going to be uh, sharing my recipe for this uh, bacalhau kunatish, and here it is. I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. So stay with me and let's get to cooking. Let's get started in making our bacalhau kunatish dish. Now the first step is to boil the codfish. Now I have 800 grams, which is six large pieces of codfish that is deboned, and I uh, placed it into the pot of water and let it boil for about five minutes. Once the codfish comes to a boil, you're going to remove the codfish and place it into a separate bowl, leaving the water of the codfish in the pot. Now I'm not going to discard the water of the codfish because I'm going to be needing it later on in the recipe. Once you've removed all the codfish from the pot, let it sit and cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now for the next step, once your codfish is cooled, you can easily break up the codfish just as I'm doing here and make it uh, into smaller pieces. Or alternatively, what you can do is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour the codfish onto a clean tea towel. Now I use the tea towel for two reasons. One, it helps me remove the water, excess water in the bacalhau. And it also shreds the bacalhau into smaller pieces for me. So I like to use this technique of making pastej bacalhau, or in this case, bacalhau kunatish. And you can see that the water and moisture is coming right through the tea towel. Once I have all the bacalhau shredded, I'm going to place it into a separate bowl. And then I'm going to set it aside and move on to the next step. Next, you will need 10 medium-sized potatoes. Next, I'm cutting the potatoes into smaller pieces. I generally like to cut them into long, thin strips when I fry the potatoes, but you can cut them into any shape that you'd like. Now I'm ready to make my french fries. Place the potatoes in hot vegetable oil Place them all into the uh, deep fryer, manual deep fryer, I have the old fashioned one. And I'm going to place that into the hot oil and let it fry to make my french fries. Once the french fries are ready, I'm placing it into a bowl with paper towel to drain the excess oil. Next, in a large deep fry pan, I'm placing half a cup of olive oil. Next, I'm adding three small diced onions and one garlic clove. Now, some people don't like garlic, so you can leave the garlic clove out if you prefer not to use it. But here, um, I just use one. I love that taste of garlic. Not too strong, but it's in there. Now, I'm going to let the onions cook in the olive oil for about a minute to a minute and a half just to soften the onions. You don't want to cook your onions and have them brown. So just slightly nice color with the olive oil before I add my next ingredients. The onions are softened and now I'm ready to add the shredded codfish that we prepared earlier. Add that all into the uh, deep fry pan, and this is where we're going to be using the uh, mixture. We're going to be mixing everything in this uh, large fry pan. So we're just going to mix in the codfish with the onions and olive oil. Mix it all together until it's well combined. Now I'm ready to add the spices. First I'm going to add here half a teaspoon of ground white pepper. So I'm just adding half a teaspoon there. And to that, I'm adding half a teaspoon of black ground pepper and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Gives it that great flavor and taste. It's not very overpowering, but it's good to have in there. It just makes it taste so much better. So you want to mix the spices into the uh, codfish. And again, we're just going to be using this fry pan to incorporate all the ingredients. And to that, we're going to add the french fries or the fried potatoes that we fried up earlier. 
all into the bacalhau mixture, place it all in there. Here I'm simply mixing the potatoes into the codfish mixture. For the next step, I'm now ready to prepare the cream. I have a medium sized saucepan and I'm going to add half a cup of unsalted butter. And I have my heat on low to medium heat. So I'm going to stir the butter in the saucepan until it's completely melted. Once the butter is melted, you're now going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Place the flour into the saucepan and stir it together with the butter. Next, I'm adding one and a half cups of the codfish water. And this is the water that I used to boil the codfish earlier and I set it aside. So it's very important that you keep stirring as you're adding each ingredient. Next, I'm adding one cup of milk. Pour that in there, keep stirring. Next, I'm adding some salt, and I'm just adding a teaspoon of salt for seasoning. And you can see that the cream is starting to thicken. You want to make sure you keep stirring. And next, for the final ingredient, I'm adding 200 milliliters of creme de natish, which is a heavy cream. I'm going to place that into the saucepan and keep stirring. Now, once I see that the uh, cream is thickened and it's coating my spatula, I know it's ready. The cream is ready, and now I'm going to add it to the codfish mixture. At this point, I will add the cream to the codfish mixture. I'm first going to place half and stir it together, and then I want to place the other half until everything is well combined. My mixture of bacalhau con natish is ready. One last thing, and that is seasoning. I just want to make sure the seasoning is perfect, and I'm just going to try it, taste it a little bit. Mm, uh, definitely leads it a little salt. So let's add a little salt, and of course you're going to add the seasoning to your liking. So I'm going to mix that up, and I'm ready for the next step. And next I'm going to place the bacalhau con natish in a glass Pyrex tray. Now you can use any tray as long as you know it's safe enough to go into the oven. Once I have the codfish mixture in the platter, I like to spread it out evenly. For the last ingredient, fresh mozzarella cheese. These are fresh mozzarella balls. They come in uh, little containers with water, drain the water, and grate the mozzarella cheese. And you can use any cheese you like, but this cheese is absolutely fresh and tastes amazing with the bacalhau con natish. At this point, I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And before I place it in the oven, one last final step, and that is to coat the bacalhau with the fresh grated mozzarella cheese. I'm going to place the bacalhau con natish in my oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. The last five minutes, I place it on broil so I can get a nice crispy topping. My bacalhau con natish is ready and out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes before I cut into it. Now, of course, I have to cut into the bacalhau con natish so you can see what the inside of this dish looks like. I'm going to 
going to take a little piece and cheat before dinner. Take a bite. Mmm, so good. I wish I could share this with you. Okay, everyone, that was my bacalhau kunatas recipe. Um, I hope you all enjoy the recipe today. Uh, I know some of you have asked, and here it is. I um, try to break it down in a step-by-step -step process. It is uh, not difficult to make, as you can see, um, you know, between boiling the codfish uh, and breaking it up, cutting the potatoes and frying them, making the cream sauce, putting that all together, topping it off with some mozzarella cheese. Um, and I use mozzarella, but the fresh mozzarella today, I, I just find it makes a huge difference in taste. But by all means, you can uh, go and buy the uh, mozzarella balls that are packaged at your local grocery store and shred that and place that on top, no problem. Uh, it tastes great as well. Um, but this is also a dish that you can pre-make the night before um, and then place it in the oven uh, when you're gonna serve it, just before you're gonna serve it. So I hope you all enjoy the recipe today. And uh, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care, everyone.